Okay, here we are. First task, algorithm up to 20 minutes. Implement a class that given two arrays will find the starting position of the second array in the first array. Okay, explain your solution, write some tests for this. Let's create the GitHub repository. Right, let's call it uh, screening. Yeah. Java screening. Yeah. And oops, let's add the Java did ignore. Yep. Let's go. Uh, cloning this into Eclipse. That's correct. And let's change the project directory. Yeah. Projects. And uh, that's right. New project wizard. Yeah. I want to make a Maven project. Projects folder is on my D drive. Java screening. Yep. Group ID org dot agileware and Java dash screening. Yeah, that's okay. Let's start with some tests. So I need the JUnit dependency. Whoops, index downloads are disabled. Search results may be incomplete. What's going on? References, Maven, whoops, uh, let's try this. Come on, J unit. Nope. Hmm. It's smart enough. Yeah, J unit four. Let's create algorithm test class. Yeah, I want it. No, it's not in the form. Let's try from here. No joy yet. Okay. Let's go for the old way. Yeah. Let's search for J unit. First result, latest version. When the ID doesn't come to your help, we help ourselves. Yeah, and this can go away. Good. Now let's give it a package. Let's call it org agileware. Java screening. Oops. 
that's not a valid charge there. Let's call it screen, right? Moving it over here, and now back to work. So, specifications. Well, let's avoid the window change. Let's add the comment format. Okay. So test match found F I call method index up on algorithm class with an array of integers four and five and an array of integers. Let's define it here. integers with two, three, four, and five, right? Let's get this from here straight away. And integers is my second argument. I want to get uh, the index. Right, and in this case, we want to assert we expect to be three. Well, actually, it's two, it's stated in the doc. Yeah, now let's start fixing this right algorithm. We need class algorithm in source main Java. Let's write to the test, and now we need the index of method. This is, let's say, search. Yeah, and what this method does, it finds the first occurrence better, isn't it? Okay, and we can Yeah, let's use minus one as for the string index of it's a good convention, isn't it? Should be straightforward. Occurred, of course. Uh, so, do I need 
need an index. I think, yeah, I think I do need an index. And I don't need an, no, a, a temporary variable. So first we iterate on the collection and then we iterate over the search array. And if the J element in the search array matches with the J plus I element, I believe, then it's a match. Uh, I believe we have to reverse this and search for mismatches. So if there is a mismatch, we want to get out yeah rec over here we want to get out of the inner loop and we want to stop at first occurrence so I found we return I yeah if we got over here, there was not much. I'm not 100% sure this is the correct implementation, but you know what? We have a test. Let's run this. Okay. I don't get too excited for a green one because unless we test there is no match we might have a false positive All right who no wait that's okay should be minus one we said minus one when there is no match And let's test for uh, yeah an empty array. What should be the behavior with an empty array? It should be zero. Yeah, an empty array matches right away. And let's rerun it. Woohoo! Green. Good. Now we said an array, right? integers were never mentioned so let's do it on uh, let's say strings if it works on string it works on generic objects right Now, yeah, a little search and replace here and there. Fubar and yeah, I'll call it strings. And here, no match, non existing. Strings and an empty array of strings. Now, when it 
an array of strings here, right? What can we use? We have foobar over there, so let's say local and exist, right? Let's do a little bit of formatting and like write the method should work now on objects nice little array of objects and t equals mm. what about nulls I can have an null point of exception here. Uh, okay. Should be not null. But what if this is null and there is a null item in the collection array? Mm -hmm. It's getting complicated. Uh, don't want to make this too much complicated. I like it to be simple. So, if they are both null, They are both null. Mm, this is not easy to read. It's getting too complicated. Don't like this. Plus. No. No. Don't like it. This is negative. Why am I going positive? Okay, I have to change the from int to integer. Out of boxing, out of unboxing, right? Range this three and local full bar. Okay, that's one, not two. It's green still. I don't think my null check is correct. So that's not empty, is it? Okay, and let's say. It's full null, okay? This should be minus one, but yeah. Mm. I believe D 
this one should be the right way to go but this is starting to be the exact same code isn't it yeah so let's sacrifice a little bit of readability in favor of compactness not that the above one was really easy to read, but at least this is compact. Bye bye. That sound better. Yeah. That's minus one. Nice. Woohoo. And yeah, that's it. Twenty two minutes. A little bit above the twenty minutes target.